JavaScript is an evolving language, with new features and syntax being introduced regularly. However, not all browsers and environments support the latest JavaScript features immediately. This can create compatibility issues when developers want to use the latest language features while ensuring their code runs on all platforms. And this is where transpiling comes in. Transpilers help bridge this gap by transforming modern JavaScript code into older versions of JavaScript that are widely supported across different browsers. For example, a developer might write code using the latest ES6 features, and then use a transpiler to convert that code into ES5 or even an older version. This way, the code remains compatible with older browsers that do not support ES6 features natively. One popular transpiler for JavaScript is Babel. It allows developers to write code using the latest ECMAScript features and then transpile it into older versions of JavaScript for broader compatibility. In addition to converting between different ECMAScript versions, transpilers can also be used for other languages that compile to JavaScript, such as TypeScript or JSX, which is a syntax extension for ReactJS. These languages are transpiled into plain JavaScript that can be executed in web browsers or other JavaScript environments. Now let's see some examples of how transpiling works. Consider this arrow function here. The arrow function was introduced in ES6. Now the transpiled ES5 version of this arrow function by using Babel would look something like this. In the transpiled code, the arrow function is converted into a regular function expression using the function keyword, making it compatible with older JavaScript engines that support ES5 syntax. Also do note that you would need a tool like Babel and its associated presets to transpile ES6 code to ES5. You can configure Babel to target specific ECMAScript versions or environments based on your project requirements as well. Here's another simple example. There's an object named obj with a property foo. And just by writing foo like this within the object, it denotes that the foo property within the object is equal to the variable foo array declared above. This is called shorthand property that was introduced in ES6, where whenever you have a variable which is the same name as a property on an object, then when constructing the object, you can omit the property name. And when this is transpiled, it gets converted into something like this, where instead of just writing foo, it writes the key value pair both. So in a nutshell, transpiling in JavaScript refers to the process of converting source code written in one version of JavaScript or a different language that compiles to JavaScript into another version of JavaScript that is compatible with a broader range of browsers or environments. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.